Hello, I'm Donna and I'm here to talk again about my chronic migraine life. Today I want to focus on victories and validation and why validation from the outside world seems so much more important than your own. Now, I've been thinking a lot about this and I'm not really sure that I know the answer. Normally I'm a person that doesn't really get what anybody else thinks and 90 time 90 percent of the time that's true especially when it comes to the victories I've made in my health no one could be prouder of my progress than me because I'm the one that gets to live the benefits of my success but sometimes you you want the worst of the world to be jumping up and down literally for you as well I know that the people that care about me are excited for me and they can see the changes in me and are happy for me, but sometimes it still doesn't seem like enough. Most of the time, if I'm being honest, I want a full-blown parade, marching band, the whole works, maybe like a second line like they would do in New Orleans. I feel like I've come so far and that even small steps should still be acknowledged. For instance, it's been raining a lot in New York City over the last week or two. And every time that it pours rain and I can hear it banging on the windows in my house, I get ecstatic. I get ecstatic, especially if I haven't had any pain from the pressure change in the air prior to the rain. One of my specialties and my very superhuman uh, powers due to my migraine brain is that I can detect changes in the weather better than, than any forecaster that you'll ever see on TV or online or anything. I get intense, tense pressure in my head. It feels like I am the Wicked Witch of the West and the house is falling on my head. Pressure builds up all in here and it won't break no matter what I take, no matter what I do until it pours rain. But on the very few occasions where that's about to happen and I don't feel it, but I'm startled to hear the rain banging on the windows, I get ecstatic. And I first thing is, do you hear that? Do you hear the rain? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we hear the rain. But I can't believe it. It's miraculous to me that I can hear the rain, but I didn't feel it prior. And that was something that I've struggled with for a very long time. And so when I hear the rain, I want on the inside, I'm jumping up and down. And I want everyone else to be doing it as well. I, sorry, the clock. I hear from a lot of people that they can't believe your progress and stuff like that. But I think that the reason you want, I want validation from the outside world is because having a chronic illness is very isolating. It's a very lonely place to be, and no one really knows the depths that you go to through on the inside, the withdrawal that you really feel from regular life. And so each step that you make towards progress, towards getting your life back or any semblance of a life back, seems like something that you couldn't imagine beforehand. So small things, like for instance, I used to take medication that I called the fat and sweaty pill. It made me gain a lot of weight and it made me sweat. Now when I say sweat, I mean it looked like I had malaria. I would walk three feet and be drenched, soaked through my t-shirt, soaked through my hair, everything. It was awful. And you get stares from people and of course right away they see that you're a little bit heavier. They assume it's because you're fat or out of shape or whatever it is. But it had nothing to do with any of that. It was the medication and the changes it made to my body. So the first time you, I went to an event and I had blown dried my hair and taken the time to do that. And I didn't sweat out my hair. It's all I could do was to talk about that for days on end. I, I don't really even know the answer to my own question. Why I need validation from other people in this particular area. I guess because I want everyone else to see how far I've come. 
And because it's this intense period of illness was about 10 years long. And in those 10 years, so many things have happened to me and changed. And the person that you've become on the outside is different than the person that you were prior to being sick. I don't know if that's confusing. I want the inner peace and happiness that I feel now on the inside to radiate outwards. And I want acknowledgement. I've never really been great at communicating how really sick I've ever felt. And the handful of times that I was probably could have been hospitalized or should have been hospitalized or definitely not left alone. I don't know that I've ever really communicated it. I have a very hard time asking for help when it relates to my illness or the behaviors that I need people to not exhibit around me, such as smoking. Smoking is still an enormous trigger for me. The smell of it, it just takes me to another level. And I guess it's always, I always feel like I'm complaining about someone else's choices. But it's not that I care what you're doing, it's because it affects me. And not just because it's gross or it's, I don't care for the smell, which is all true. It's that literally my body goes into survival mode and I get a sharp pain in my head, sort of alerting me to the danger. And it's almost as though there's somebody in my head screaming, smoke, 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 smoke. I can smell the fire. I can smell, it knows that it's going to go into pain. It knows that it's a trigger. It's like survivalist mode. It's like being in survivalist mode all of the time. My body's constantly looking for things that are going to set me off and get a migraine. My doctor explained it to me this way, that your body is always on the verge of an attack. And it takes very small things, whatever your triggers are. For me, it happens to be weather, like I said, smoke, very, very strong perfume, um, mostly smells, but twitching lights will do it to me as well. So anytime I see a twitching light I in a store or whatever, I point it out instantly. I have no idea why that is, but it's as if I give voice to it, then I want someone else to pay attention that, shit, that light is going off, or God, I reek of smoke, I can't go next to Donna. That's what I want. I want the validation that I have an actual illness and that the symptoms that come with it aren't things I get to choose. They aren't things I can change. But I want someone, I guess, to care enough to want to change. To, in order to validate my illness and the experience that I've had, I need the outside world to acknowledge all of the things that I guess I already know about myself. That I can't always be too hot. So if you are a person that gets cold easily, do not come to my house between April and November. I will literally have the air conditioning on probably 24-7. It's not that I no longer enjoy being cold, and now that I'm off those fat and sweaty pills as they were, my heat sensitivity has dropped immensely, but I still can't bear to be hot. It triggers my migraines. Um, so even when my body is cold, my head is happy. In fact, that's the only way I can sleep, is if I make my body so cold I'm actually shaking and need covers, it relaxes my head enough that I can sleep. So... In order to keep achieving victories, however small they are, however great they are, the validation from others on a job well done and surviving what seemed unsurvivable to me for such a long time is important. And I feel like this goes without saying for anybody else that doesn't just have migraine illness, that has any other kind of illness. I think it's made me a more compassionate person. Um, though I don't feel like compassion can necessarily be taught, and I think I always was a compassionate person, people in my life that have gotten sick with other things or have gone through other hard times, I feel like I can relate to them more on a very personal level that even though our experiences are different, the sympathy and the compassion is the same. You know, um... I have somebody very close to my family who's practically an aunt to me. In fact, that's what I call her. Um, who unfortunately has gone through a little breast cancer journey. And she goes for radiation once a week. And I feel like every week that she's completed, I want to reach out. I want to text her. I want to celebrate it. Because I want that validation for her. Because I know that 
when I get validated for the strides that I've made in my own health, that the support just really can't be recreated anywhere else. It's incredibly important to share in those milestones and let the people that you love around you know that you're proud of them. And even when you can't understand how far they've come or why they are so excited because it's raining and they had no signs ahead of time, it's important. So today I just want to share that little bit with you guys. I want us all to celebrate in our personal victories and validate for ourselves how far we've come with whatever we're dealing with. But also when you can lend that support to someone else in your inner circle, it'll mean the world to them. So I hope you're all staying migraine free out there and I'll talk to you guys soon.